I would like to talk about how I made this animation in Blender and After Effects. This is not a step-by-step -step tutorial, but rather a breakdown. Before I even began making this animation, I wanted to create something that was short, slightly dramatic, and unpredictable. I made this 3D can a few months ago but I never actually used it. So I thought this could really do well for this project. You can see the can has some water droplets. The droplets are just made of tiny cubes with extruded faces. And they are contained in their collection. They are attached to the surface of the can by using particles. <laughs> I use geometry nodes to do that, let me show you exactly how. After setting this base node tree, I went to the outliner and dragged the droplets collection this way. I connected the collection info node to instance on points this way. This is the first result I got. I enabled pick instance on instance on points. I also enabled separate children and reset children on collection info. As you can see the result still does not look good. Therefore, I connected rotation from distribute points on faces to rotation of instance on points. I later connected a float random value node to scale. I also wanted this droplets to not occupy this top part of the can. I also did not want them to be at the bottom of the can. In order to control where I wanted the droplets to occupy, I did some weight painting. The blue parts will not have droplets, while the area painted red is the one for the droplets. After I finished weight painting, a vertex group was created automatically. In order to use the vertex group data in geometry nodes, I connected density from group input to density factor this way. If you go to modifier properties, you need to actually select the vertex group to be used in the geometry nodes. This is how the node tree looks like. The animation part was not complex. The animation is just 120 frames long. You can see the camera has a higher focal length, I used a focal length of 200 millimeters. As it animates, you can see it remains facing the can. In order to achieve that, you select the camera and go to Object Constraint Properties. I went with Track 2. The target object is this empty object. I animated the position of the camera from right orthographic view because only the Y and Z axes were the ones to be involved. For the empty object, I set keyframes on its Y rotation. It is a parent of the can, so as it rotates, the can does the same. I also animated the can itself. I set keyframes on its Z rotation. The lighting setup is also not complex. You can see there are four area lights. There is also a single point light. I used an HDRI image, which I set the strength to 0.5. After adding the HDRI, I went to Render Properties, Film, then Enable Transparent. That was to prevent the HDRI from being visible in rendered view. For rendering the final animation, I used Cycles because I realized that Eevee could not do this. I set maximum samples to be 128, and then enabled motion blur. On file format, I used PNG, with RGB alpha. I created a specific folder where the PNG sequence will be saved, and assigned the images a name that made sense. I went ahead and rendered the animation. Here we are in After Effects, and this is the final result. I am going to talk about how I ended up with this. The first thing I did was to import the image sequence by going to File, Import, then File. I selected one image then enabled PNG sequence before importing. After importing the sequence, I placed it in its composition. You can see the composition settings here. This composition is called, Can. It is 1080 by 1080, with a duration of only 10 seconds. The sequence is only 4 seconds long, while the composition is 10 seconds. Therefore, I had to import the last image of the sequence to fill up the empty space after the fourth second mark. I went to File, Import, then File. I selected the last image, then disabled PNG sequence before importing. I also created an adjustment layer in this composition. On the adjustment layer, I put a brightness and contrast effect. I also created another composition. In this composition, I brought into it the Can composition. Here you can see, there are some text elements and other visual effects as well. 
I will talk about the Enjoy the Energy graphic later. This diet caffeine text has keyframes set on its position. There is a green solid behind the can, it has a feathered mask. I animated its opacity and also added a wiggle expression to the opacity as well in order to make the blinking effect. Now let's look into this Enjoy the Energy graphic. It contains simple text animations with keyframes set on position of the texts. I created another composition, then brought in the text graphic composition. I also added this green solid layer and rotated it. You can see it has linear wipe effect on it. In order to mask the solid, I duplicated this text graphic composition layer and put it above it. I then set the track mat of the solid to be alpha. I later created the main composition, which I brought in all the other compositions as you can see. This logo is also one of the compositions. The logo is a PNG image with alpha. This logo composition also contains a white solid layer that is rotated. It has a linear wipe effect on it. The solid has key frames on its position. In this other composition the solid layer also has key frames on its position. You have noticed that the can is moving towards the left while getting slightly smaller in size. That is because in this composition, the can and the solid are children of this null object. And the null object is the one adjusting its position and scale. In this main composition, there is a background made of this orange solid. It has a gradient ramp effect on it. The start color is this bright green, while the end color is this darker version of green. The Blender file and the After Effects project file are both available for free. You can download them from my Gumroad page, there is a link in the description. Have a nice day.